is going on guys it is fatal reaper day bringing you guys another video we are on the hp pavilion gaming laptop and what today what we're going to be talking about today is is a gaming laptop worth it again as i just said we are on the hp pavilion so this is going to be used the, uh, the gaming laptop used for the example um this is probably going to appear as you just saw dying light 2 is going to be playing I've got Warzone playing. These are just quick clips to show you what kind of games can run on this HP Pavilion at what settings, and the FPS counter is in the left corner, typically. And I'll go over more in depth here in just a second. So if you're new to the channel, be sure to like and subscribe as always. It uh, really helps the channel grow, and I really appreciate it all as, as always. And if you have any questions, leave me some comments down below, and I'll be sure to get back to you as fast as possible. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So as you can see, we're playing. Um, I got Dying Light 2. There are full videos on my uh YouTube channel if you guys want to check that out. Today's question, is the gaming laptop worth it? Is a gaming laptop worth it? Go ahead and tell you the parts list, and this one is a GTX 1650 with an i5-9300 CPU, and it does come with 8 gigabytes RAM standard. I do have 16 gigabytes of RAM in this. It is upgradable for only about $50 to $60, given, a, given on how much uh, RAM is costing. Uh, obviously, it can vary from time to time. That being said, is the gaming laptop worth it is the biggest question. I'm going to go ahead and say yes as far as my opinion goes, and we got God of War showing here too. Yes, in my opinion, but we're going to go over in detail of why it is worth it. So, um, here in the next portion of the video towards the end, I'm going to be kind of showing you my setup with the laptop and everything like that. We're going to be talking more in depth. So, is the gaming laptop worth it? You do have to remember that the gaming laptop is, I mean, virtually, this gaming laptop is pretty much uh, about what you would pay for a console these days, close to it. Um, but you're getting more uh, factors of a PC. So the biggest thing right now, I, I don't want to be that guy that says PC's king, console's trash, or anything like that, because I don't want to be like that at all. Love console, love Xbox, I grew up on Xbox, still play Xbox to this day. Love PlayStation as well. I love Nintendo Switch. I love all consoles. I don't have any issue with consoles whatsoever. But if I had to say, I would go with a PC at the end of the day, hands down, especially since I have a PC custom PC build and the laptop. We're talking about the laptop, of course, today. The laptop here can, I mean, it can run games, as you can see, God of War. Now, we are running on low settings, but, I mean, you really can't tell it. The settings look phenomenal. Even with low settings, gameplay looks phenomenal. Gameplay is smooth. You can stream on this thing. I mean, you can just do, there's so many options because you've got a, basically a PC inside a gaming laptop, which is also portable. You can bring it with you on vacations, on the go, it's something easy to just crack open and start playing. Right here is my setup of my laptop, the HP Pavilion, on its cooling pad, and to the uh, left of me is my, uh, of course, my gaming desktop. And of course, you know, don't, you know, at the end of the day, it's completely your decision if it's worth it to you or not. I'm just saying, is the gaming laptop worth it? I'm trying to answer the question for people out there that may have comments, comments or questions or concerns or anything like that. The gaming laptop is 100% worth it. There's just so many things that it can do, as you just saw with Warzone, Dying Light 2, God of War, full-length video of all those down below, uh, or not down below, but um, uh, on my playlist. So just check out HP Pavilion Game Test, and you will find out all these games that it plays, Fortnite, Warzone. You can upgrade the storage, of course, on this. It comes with 256GB SSD. You can upgrade the storage, or you can get an external storage device, which is 10 times easier, and I use myself, and this is how I play all the games that you can see on the HP Pavilion. Of course, this is all my setup to the left, and of course, this is laptop to the right. The laptop is what I bought basically essentially for something extra on the side and something I could fall back on in case, you know, PC needed to work on, needed new parts or anything like that. I can always jump to the P uh, laptop over here at Play Games and whatnot and bring it on the go and do editing and stuff like that. So is a gaming laptop worth it? 100%. Now, um, I did a similar laptop. Is the HP Pavilion gaming laptop worth it in 2022? 100%. But is a gaming laptop in general worth it? If you have the right hardware, as in this one is a GTX 1650, if you're getting the right hardware and the right specs, 100% worth it. 100% worth it. I would say laptops, and laptops obviously are pre-built. Laptops are t entirely better than the pre-built gaming PCs that I've gotten. Which, that also comes with a brand. HP Pavilion also makes a desktop, and I would highly recommend you guys check it out. I've heard nothing but good things. I actually plan on one day buying one myself, doing a test for that. Because they look phenomenal, and I guarantee you they, they probably perform even greater. Obviously, the laptop's been phenomenal, so I guarantee you the desktop version performs just as well, and probably 10 times better. Uh, but that being said, guys, is a gaming laptop worth it? If you got the right specs, uh, do de definitely do your research, check out the reviews, um, and stuff like that. That's kind of why I'm here. I try to like do reviews and stuff like this. That way you guys can, you know, I've always been in-depth about wh wh before I get something, I want to know all about it that I can. And that's what I try to do these videos for. So is a gaming laptop worth it, as I've said many times in the video? 100%. Do make sure you do your research on the hardware and everything like this. This is the HP Pavilion in this um, 
in this example. If you do have questions, do do just shoot me some comments down below. I'll be sure to get back to you and everything like that. But uh, 100%, a gaming laptop is definitely worth it if you are going for the right hardware and everything. These things are portable. There's just so many different things you can do with these. They're just they function pretty much like a desktop. They are a little bit on the lower scale because they are a gaming laptop. But nothing, nevertheless, I mean these gaming laptops are insane. Uh, this one especially, especially for the price, I'd got it for 500. It's retail now is about seven to 800. Prices have obviously gone up. I happened to luck out and get it on sale. But for 500 dollars, this thing being able to play Warzone, God of War, Fortnite at these settings and look as phenomenal as it does and play good as a PC, excellent. Be sure to like and subscribe as always, guys. If you have any questions, leave me down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.